Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create glass material in Maya 2018 with Arnold. We are going to use Arnold shader for that, not the Maya standard shaders. Okay, so uh, for creating the same, I I have created a very small scene with a plane and a monkey. Uh, if you already know him, uh, his name is Suzanne and it's from Blender. So I exported it in through OBJ and uh, I uh, there is a reason uh, for taking this because it's having a very complex uh, structure very basic yet very complex uh, you know the curvature and all which will help us to see how the uh, how the shader actually works you can take any any other uh, object also it's not a big deal okay so let's get started so I've taken a uh, plane and I have applied a Lombard material with a uh, default uh, uh, I mean my uh, checker box and I change the checker box color from black to red this is just to see how the lights are getting you know uh, uh, bending th through the material okay so <coughs> for, for creating uh, I first go to hypershade and by clicking this icon or else you can go to windows rendering editor hypershade okay now one more thing i have to do i have to go to arnold and turn on the render option but the problem is uh, by default you will see there is nothing in render the reason is that uh, you need to create a light for that so that go to light i'll create a directional light Okay, just pause this one because this is an interactive output. So I'll just set up, though the position doesn't matter, just to uh, make sure that it doesn't distract the selection. Okay, now play again, and immediately you can see uh, the material is which I have already applied is the Arnold surface. Now, how to get this one? Let me show you. Go to Hypershade and just delete all those stuffs. Yeah. Uh, right now, I have removed this one. This is the default material which we got by exporting from Blender. This is a, just a uh, font material. Okay. Now, in the Hypershade, in the Create section, what you will do is go to the shader section and you can see AI standard surface this is the one with what uh, we are going to use which is a, a standard one so click on that uh, it's not by default applied with it so select this one right click on it and apply apply material to selection I can squeeze this one so that you can sorry this one so that you can see so though all the uh, uh, almost all the attributes are still out there but I would like to uh, do it all the changing over here in the attribute editor so <coughs> I hope the yeah the standard surface has been assigned okay now the most important uh, section which we will actually need to know is the transmission which is responsible for the uh, for being a glass material now why this transmission transmission means how lights are actually you know transmitted through the object and scattered so uh, this will uh, actually uh, create the light bend through the material now first of all you can see that weight is zero that's why the other uh, uh, options are actually uh, inactive now you have to turn the weight value on up and wait till around 0 0.8 0 0.9 you can see yeah and immediately you can see it started to creating just like a glass now this is really interesting that even my light has been started bending and it's it's almost okay that the, the material is actually calculating everything is fine but the most important factor which generally people used to miss is the shadow you see the shadow is completely dark which is not possible now for that we have to uh, 
we, this is very very mandatory that you uh, maintain that this object is not an opaque object though my shader is actually uh, my shader is actually calculating all the light bending and all the stops and which is uh, visible and this is done I mean uh, the all the uh, glass things that are coming out the output but the problem is the output is not uh, completed until unless your shadow is also not reacting exactly the same so as that directly not connected with the uh, shader but the surface though so what you have to do is you have to go to the shape node of that particular object I have selected that monkey and go to the Arnold tab and here you can see the Arnold translator you need to tell Arnold that this is not an opaque object if you turn this on your shadow will never be in a transparent shadow so this is a very important feature that people generally used to um, you know uh, ignore so you have to turn off and immediately you can see the image has been uh, the shadow has been disappeared now reason for completely disappearance of the shadow is I have actually turned this weight is a hundred percent if you turn them down to 0.9 or 0.8.5 that will create the object a, a exactly uh, the desired uh, kind of uh, uh, result now if you can see that you can turn up as much as you can and also you can control through depth that how how depth you really want your uh, light to face but the overall weight is actually which uh, comes to play though the this particular depth is also connected with the scatter color which I'll show you in the next one so for the colors uh, for the colors um, of, of that particular glass material either you change from the color option or you change from the scatter option I generally prefer from the scatter option the reason is that skin scatter option you can easily control uh, the the type of the uh, scatterness with the uh, scatter and isotropy and also with the depth that is the reason I always recommend I generally prefer to work on the uh, on the scatter color rather than the overall color though you can actually use the overall color like uh, uh, let's suppose like it's green and and that will and th the major problem for that is it it will create the shadow entirely with that for that color whereas if you uh, take it the scatter color you can see okay you can see your shadow which I'm, I'm just control I'm holding control and uh, click and dragging this uh, value and you can see the object is actually been shown with a color but the shadow is unaffected so this is a very interesting one uh, to look after so that is the reason I always prefer to control the color from the scatter option rather than the color itself so this is a very important section that you need to uh, need to you know uh, uh, remember okay now the scatter anis anisotropy is actually the same uh, calculation which is actually uh, scattering the color you can see the lightness and darkness of the color the color is getting a little bit darker into into while I'm increasing the scatter anisotropy of, of the scatter color so this is really really interesting uh, but if you pump up to the complete uh, uh, one that will the, uh, the, uh, the the scatter anisotropy will actually lose and also the same thing happened with the minus one so you have to control because this is a, a sort of a sign value and uh, that's how it is actually being calculated so now you can understand that why these two are completely different uh, than each other the one is actually the overall color and also affect the shadow which whereas the other one is actually only uh, uh, affecting the object which is actually uh, really nice so uh, the next one is the dispersion abbey now this portion is something which uh, which generally this is not the ideal object to show the example because uh, dispersion generally happened with the in case of uh, diamonds uh, and all so, but still you can actually create the dispersion abbey through this and you can control it in a very low uh, value very lower value uh, sorry a little higher value than uh, than absolutely low because uh, if you start 
increasing the dispersion you can see the entire object is being multicolored which is not desirable every any time which uh, yeah now this is fine okay now you can also increase the depth to you know uh, pull off the color uh, of the scatter the scatter color and you can show the dispersion uh, you can see this over here you can, you can show the dispersion over here so this is really interesting uh, uh, because sometimes uh, the glass objects do uh, show the uh, multicolor uh, or the um, uh, this uh, this dispersion uh, abbey so the last one which is a uh, really interesting one uh, the extra roughness though uh, the Arnold's scatter light scatter is actually uh, physically correct still if you're not happy with the uh, roughness of your object like you may want to pump up the uh, roughness of your glass uh, like uh, a window uh, from uh, from a small uh, you know uh, openings from from your wall there you need to uh, or even a frosted glass which is the most uh, easy example to discuss and now you can see if you pump up this uh, value of extra roughness the object is more uh, uh, foggy sort or maybe you can say a blurish uh, transmission is actually been calculated so this is a really interesting and uh, um, you can do a lot of stuff uh, with this uh, values and uh, I mean mix and match with these values and create some desired result that you are actually looking for one very important point that I would like to add over here is go to the render settings which is I think I missed it out in the earlier uh, part that uh, go to Arnold render and in the ray depth option this transmission value should be more than two or even uh, it depends on the how many surface uh, how many surface the light has to penetrate like uh, I don't have that much of a surface I'm not making any uh, uh, thick uh, thickness into this particular model but if you see that if my transmission values or transmission ray depth is not more than two the light cannot uh, go beyond certain areas now if I drop down to one and let's say render it and you can see that light cannot penetrate this particular surface because my transmission value is absolutely uh, way less than uh, the the permission is not uh, the, the beyond I mean way less than the permissible uh, number of uh, surfaces so you need to be really really careful about that this particular option is been turned up to certain uh, value that uh, that will permit the light to penetrate that particular model so <coughs> that's it for this uh, tutorial and uh, uh, please subscribe to our youtube channel and follow us on facebook and twitter thank you very much